All right, so I'm doing like a small series on invasive species. And I figured I would include this one in there because at least around here where I live, this is one of those invasive species that just keep coming up and you can't seem to get rid of it. Okay. This is called dock. There's also another one called burdock, which is a more of a leafy type version. It's a different, it's different than this version. There's dock and burdock, and the burdock is more of a larger leaf green type of a leaf. Almost looks sort of like or grows similar to rhubarb. Kind of grows more like rhubarb rather than like this. So this plant is really invasive. You really want to pull this thing out and cut it before it starts to get seedy like you see it's beginning to do right here. And I'm going to attempt to pull this out on camera. It's not... You really need two hands. I, no, I can't even do it. I can't even do it. It's a massive root that goes down. It can go down anywhere between two and three feet deep. It can get as big in diameter as... I'd say probably... Oh... Uh, I would say probably it can get as big in diameter as two inches I've seen them diameter root and it, it doesn't grow like a carrot type of a root it kind of forks off and it's just massive root system and this will just keep coming up every year now I don't know if it's a biannual or a perennial or an annual but what I can tell you is that once this plant starts coming up you can't seem to get rid of it now here's some more dock growing here and this has been coming up every year for years. This is probably the mother plant that seeds all those little plants you see. So I'm going to be taking this out probably today or tomorrow. You can see that it's loaded up with seeds. Or it's getting ready to seed. These are nowhere near ready yet. These cones will get really big. And uh, you really want to get rid of this before it does that. So you can see there's a number of plants here that are growing. And they're blocking my fireplace my air vent from my fireplace but this is one of those plants if you see it in your garden you absolutely got to do whatever you got to do to get rid of it even if you got to dig down three feet to get the whole root out if you don't get the whole root out it's just going to come back this is one of those plants it's really hard to get rid of it does have some uses some medical uses to it and people some people cook the leaves and the roots and me personally i don't really get into that I only, only do that with certain wild plants rather than just every plant and just kind of eat every aspect of every plant. It's not always a good idea to do that. Could damage your liver doing that kind of stuff. But some people use it for medicinally and they use it for medical, medical purposes and stuff. So it does have its place. You just got to know exactly what to do with it and, you know, when to apply it. I don't have that information on hand. That's why I'm not going to provide you with it in this video. But I just wanted to show you what Doc actually looks like and give you a nice look at the leaf. Here's a better look. All right, that's a better look at the leaf. Here's another. This is really what you want to look for. The leaf that looks kind of like that. The stem gets really red eventually, more than what you see here. It'll get really red. Right now it's green towards the bottom, but you'll see once it ripens it'll get more red. This, the, the, the burdock doesn't get red at all. You don't see any red in your burdock, but the dock gets red. I don't think I have any burdock growing wild around here, so I can't really show it to you. But I might leave one of these plants till the fall, and then I'm going to remove that one as well before it fully seeds or I'll cut the seed. I just want to show you what the seeds look like and what it looks like when it seeds. Birds love to eat them. They spread them all over your yard. And once you get these things around, you can't get rid of them. So, all right, so that's just a quick look at the dock. Here's the buds, the flower, the leaf. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.